Okay, wow, it's been a hot minute since I filmed, but I'm finally back and I'm ready to film because I've missed this so much. Today's video is an exciting one, especially for me. I'm really excited to try out these new products that I have in front of me right now. And if you can tell by the title, it's the new CoverGirl Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipsticks. And they look like this. The packaging is so stinking cute. I bought six out of the 12 shades that they have. I tried grabbing, you know, ones that don't look similar similar to each other or ones that are a little bit crazy like this dark navy blue. I am wearing one right now, it's this one, which is number 115. For the swatches, today I'm going to do all of them straight out of the tube without any lip liner or anything like that. So if you guys want to see these babies in action, just keep on watching. So before I actually jump right into the review of these, I do want to talk a little bit about the product itself. So straight from the website it says, stop the world and melt with the CoverGirl liquid lipstick. This all new high impact impact opaque lip color is rich, creamy, and compares to a 20 liquid lipstick. The soft touch precision applicator is cushiony and comfortable, so lip color glides on smooth, delivering a satin finish and that's not sticky or tacky. Um, I've had this on for about 15 minutes and it's still really shiny. So this is definitely not a matte product, but anyway, these retail for $7.99 each and you can find them at Target. I'm not sure if you can find them at Walmart, but anyway, moving on to the swatches, I'm going to start off with this one even though I already have it on. I don't know if I should just leave this on. I'm actually just going to take this off and just apply it without the lip liner just to see how opaque it actually is. So I'm going to get my trusty wipes out and just take this off. So now that my lips are clean, I'm going to go in with the 115 that I had on prior. So with this product, you just squeeze it out of the bottle and it just comes out like so. So just by itself, it does feel really, really creamy. It is really opaque as you can see. It wasn't as bright as before, but I did have a bright orange lip liner. So, so far so good. Let's squeeze out a little bit more. So there is Jello Bright by itself without any lip liner. I mean, I really think that I love this already. There is a little bit of patchiness, but it's nothing too crazy. It's kind of like applying a lipstick. I really like this color by itself. Just from the bottle, it looks like it would be a really scary bright color that you would have to wear a lip liner underneath, but I am so surprised by this color. I usually try to stay away from coral, well, bright corals like this because I feel like it's way too bright for my skin tone, but I really like this color. And I feel like so far CoverGirl has stayed true to their claim. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels really comfortable on the lips. So I'm really impressed with Jello Bright. Let's move on to the next colors. The next color I'm going to go in with is this one. This is number 105. It's in the shade Gelful. And with all of the lipsticks, as you will notice, they all have the word gel in it, which I think is really cute and clever. But this one, number 105, is more of a pinky nude. I'm not sure if the color inside is going to look exactly like this, so let's just open this up and swatch it. So I have not tried this one at all. The tip is clean. The tip is clean. Is it going to come out? Oh. So there is the color. Oh, dang, I like this color already. This might be a little bit light for me, but we'll have to see. I feel like this one was a little bit harder to work with just because it is so pale. I feel like it looks a little bit too light on me. I'd probably have to wear this with a darker lip liner underneath. The formula is so far consistent. It's not tacky and it feels really comfortable on the lip. The only thing is it might be a little bit too bright for me, but I think, I, I mean, I would still wear it like this low key, so I like it. I think out of the four of these, I'm going to try just two more. Mm, that's kind of hard. Maybe three. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard just because like I don't want my lips to hurt, but let's see. Maybe I'll try this purple one next. So this one is the number 150. It's the color Raspberry Jelly, which that is such a cute freaking name. Let's see the color itself though because I'm really excited. And as you can see, a clean tip again. Whoa, that's really, really, really dark. I'm excited. Let's do this. Oh my damn. The only thing with these gel liquid lipsticks is that I keep having to squeeze the product out because I feel like it doesn't give me enough product in one go to make it opaque. 
Wow, 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 I really, really like this color. It is so dark. I feel like it didn't take me as many squeezes to get a lot of product out. And with this one, you can tell there's no skin peeking through. It's completely opaque. Like, with the rest of the colors that I've tried on, it's comfortable, it's not tacky. It wears like a lipstick. Of course, it's probably not going to dry matter than this. Maybe just a tad bit, but it's still going to look really shiny. So if you don't like shiny liquid lipsticks, then I would suggest not buying these. But so far, I'm really loving the colors. I might just have to go back can get the rest of the colors because I really like these so far. And Moving on to the next color, I'm going to be trying this one. This is number 125 in the shade Gel Yes, but that is so cute again. All these names, they're just like, they got me feeling some type of way, you know? They're so cute. When I look at this color, it's more of a true American red, like the red that you see on the American flag. I don't know. I'm really just getting those vibes from this color. Going in with a little bit of a squeeze. All right. Hmm. I like it. Okay, so I tried keeping the squeezing to a minimum. That was just two squeezes. Let's go ahead with one more. So that is Gel Yes. Okay, so going in with the blue one, this is called Gel Bird. Kind of disappointed with the name, low key. So again, let's go in with one squeeze. Oh. Let's just spread this out. I feel like this one's a little bit more patchier than the other colors, which is so surprising because it's a really dark color. But let's go in with another squeeze. Okay, so this one was a tad bit harder to work with. It wasn't like, oh my god, this color is super hard to work with. Overall, I got the color to look opaque. It was about three to four squeezes to get this opacity. I don't see my lip color at all through the lipstick, so that's a plus. That's really all I'm worried about. So that is the last color that I'm going to test out. Overall, they're pretty much all the same consistency. Well, at least the ones that I've tried. I think it's safe to say that they're all going to be the same consistency. They're super comfortable to wear. Like I said, they're not tacky. They're not sticky it's like a lipstick in a liquid form just in a tube it's a little bit harder to apply with but it's not anything crazy I also forgot to mention that these lipsticks are not transfer proof they will get everywhere so just fair warning I really like these lipsticks they are Andrea approved they are approved and yeah, I really like these. If you see them at your Target, maybe buy one or two and test them out for yourself. That is all for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more content, then please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.